Hey guys, welcome back to Elden Ring. Um, in the last episode, we made our way kind of east towards a kind of a forest grove um, that was just absolutely full of bears, just bears all over the place. Um, we kind of sort of met an NPC. There he is. The beast man, he just seems to be up there howling the whole time. There he goes. Um, so I'm not sure what the deal is. We can't we can't lock onto him. The only thing I can think of would be to shoot an arrow at him. Um, but I don't want to aggro him because he seems like a nice guy. Seems like a friend. Um, so maybe he's he's going to show up again somewhere. Maybe this is just like a bit of a intro. What's going on. Like. Ah, <laughs> just can't see him. Um, let's get a bit further away. There we go. Can't crane our neck. What do we consume with this thing? <laughs> He's cool, man. He's a wolf man. Wolfman. Uh, no, he's he's a wolf man. So a wolfman would be a profession involving wolves. He's a wolf man. He's a man who is also a wolf. Just to be clear. Um, okay, cool. I think what I want to do now is um, head on over to this castle um, up on the crag here and uh, see what's going on there. I'm pretty sure we'll face off against some kind of a boss. That's my prediction. Oh, we've got uh, demi-humans and like hundreds of arrows. Ah, that's why. Because there's a giant ballista. Is there a way to sneak around, maybe? Not seeing anything. It's kind of inaccessible on all sides, besides this little passage here. But maybe the, uh, the demi-humans will be a good distraction. We made it. Yeah, I'm just one-handing these guys, man. Whoa! Okay, I think we get rid of these guys first. He doesn't bash them, that's unfortunate. I think this guy's nearly dead. There we go. Nice. And, uh. Now the little demi humans are getting involved. I'm helping fight this pumpkin head, man. There we go. <laughs> nice. In there. Go two handed. Pick up some of your own size, bud. Okay, now the demi humans after us. Gotta be done. And I would imagine this is a seed. Nice golden seed. I think we've got a couple of them now. Um, oh, what's going on? Dropping frames. Come on. 
Yes, four-toed foot. That's what you love to see. May as well do a little bit of a sweep here, see if we can get a few more. My opinion. Yeah, they really are quite rare. I have to massacre every bird I see. Just keeping an eye on that, uh, that ballista. I don't think he's seen us. No! Ah, okay, we're good. This guy has made the mistake of not flying away. There we go. Okay. You live to see another day, bird. We were at half health, I didn't even notice. Let's see what this fort has in store. It looks identical to the one in Kaled, except this door is open. Does it have a secret back area? It does not. We've got commoners throwing stuff. Something dead over here. Ouch. We'll have my crossbow. Okay, we just shrug off those. Those pots don't do any damage. Oh god, this guy's amidst a whole bunch of explosive barrels here. Okay, well they don't explode when you hit them. So that's good. You guys have a serious wrath problem. needs to be addressed. Level 6 Nomadic Warriors Cookbook. Let's take care of this rat first. He's going to come and start ruining our day. Um... Put this on quick. Uh, what was I doing? Yes, item crafting. Let's see what we got here. Anything new? There'll definitely be something new. All tinged excrement. Throw it. Enemies to call build up with deadly poison. So this is like dung. Deadly poison. What's the difference? We've got poison and deadly poison. Obanoric pot, we've had that for a while. Maybe this is what we picked up. Roped fetid pot, I haven't seen this before. So we've got magic grease, blood grease, freezing grease, and sporific grease. Was it sleep? Got a bunch of greases going on. And a bunch of different types of arrows. Magic bone arrow, poison, blood. Cool stuff. Yeah, I think it was the, uh, the fetid pot, the roped fetid pot that we picked up. Pretty sure. We press on. that one coming. It's like a castle full of commoners. Oh, get slapped around, bird. Get slapped around. 
Ash of War, bloody slash. Grants affinities and skills to an armament. Bloody slash blood. Okay. Lost weapons accepted. Ash of War grants an armament the blood affinity and the following skill. Blood slash. Blood oath. Skill granted by the Lord of Blood. Yeah, this is one of the demigods, I think. From a low stance, coat the blade in your own blood to unleash a rending blood slash in a wide arc. Usable on swords, colossal weapons. Accepted. Interesting. Or grants the yeah, occult affinity. Spectral lance, skill of the headless monk. Mausoleum Knights, Hurl of Phantasmic Spear at Foes. Usable on pole arms. Reapers accepted. Now we have a ton of different Ash of Wars here. Really need to start uh, checking some of them out. We got this guy, uh, Ground Slam. It's Ash of War Grants and Armament, the Heavy Affinity. And the following skill Ground Slam. Jump up high into the air and crash down on the ground ahead, the resulting pr Pratfall. Never heard that term before. Sends a powerful shockwave in all directions. Interesting. A war cry. Unsheathe. Only usable on katanas. Yeah, I remember this from Dark Souls. But take on that stance and then you can do like a running slash or just a normal slash. Very cool, man. Got a blood rose. Was that it? I see a tower. We're gonna have a sending gate. Who can tell? Let's uh, let's look around a bit though before we go. Level one smithing stone. Always good to see. We must have quite a few by now. And we can, of course, just buy any that we want. Oh, here's the guy on the uh, the crossbow. The brass. I think that is it for this castle. Any chests that I missed? No, sir. Oh, here's a chest. Brilliant. A Dectus medallion left. Uh, supposedly we, we would need to get the right one as well. Dectus medallion. Join medallions to operate grand lift of Dex Dectus. Dectus. Left half of the split medallion depicting the urn tree. Banishing the medallion will both with both halves conjoined will activate the grand lift of Dectus, connecting the Altus Plateau to Leonia. The right half is said to reside in Fort Baroth, in the Dragon Barrow, far to the east. Ah. Huh. So that's supposedly some kind of lift that we haven't found yet. Okay, well, nothing terribly exciting at this uh, fort. I was expecting there to be some kind of a um, tough enemy. Let's see if we explored the bottom area properly. I don't think we did. There was a lot of blood stains here. Um, Probably from low-level guys making their way over to this castle. Um, 
Yeah, this whole area has been so easy, man. I guess it was... Yeah, we just, we just pressed... We pressed north so quickly. I'm just so used to Dark Souls being difficult. I was like, oh, yeah, this is just... Because all of the enemies that we fought were incredibly difficult. But I was just like, well, yeah, it's Dark Souls, man. That's just how the game is. <laughs> what is this? What is this? It's got mail? What is it? Is it, um... Is it like the beast that we fought, um... In... Was it the lakeside? No, it wasn't the lakeside crystal cave. We found some cave that was filled with demi-humans. And, um... Yeah, it was the lakeside crystal cave. Where we fought the Bloodhound Knight. Um... And, uh, in the one cave, there was, like, a, a large cat-like... Lanky-looking creature what it was man looks like a very very big version of that could be wrong anyways i think what i want to do now is push towards this giant tree over here um lay the half wolf um the third church of marica Oh, look at that. We revealed the the rotted uh, Caelid Wilds here. Um, now, I don't think we've been to this tree. It looks pretty important, so let's do that. We're going to have to get onto uh, Torrent. So many dung beetles. Scarabs, if you will. Spiked, cracked tear. And a green spill crystal tear. Interesting. Obviously for our flask of wondrous physique. Temporarily boosts stamina in mixed physique. What's the difference between these two? So this is stamina recovery. So this is maybe just like instantly fills up your stamina. Crystal tear forms slowly over the ages. Uh, yeah, it can be mixed in the flask of wondrous physique. The resulting concoction temporarily raises one's maximum stamina. Ah! Well, that's pretty cool. We've got a spiked cracked tear. Uh, can be mixed. Uh, the resulting concoction increases the power of charged attacks for a certain duration. That's pretty handy, actually. That's pretty handy. Need to remember that one. All right, let's check out this uh, this ruin here. I suppose it's in pretty good shape. Rude to call it a ruin. It's gonna take us down. Yeah. Taking us way down. Whoa, dude, where are we? What is this? Whoa, man. Look at this! Holy crap! This is really amazing. We found like an underground city, man. This is... This is awesome. It's here for a river. Could this be an uh, item? Um, I'm sorry, an item?
Well, let's definitely rest. Get our FP back. Um, anything else we want to do? Let's see if we can upgrade our flask. We can. Increase the mod, I doubt it. Yeah. There's some item, I can't remember what it is that we need. Okay. So we should now have eight sacred tears. That's uh, pretty incredible. Oh, it's a poison mushroom. Melted mushroom. Look at this place, man. What are these? You kissed Herba. That is the first you kissed Herba we found. Pearl calling finger. Uh, it's not a good sign. It's telling us we, we're going to need help with this area. But I'm confident, man. I'm feeling confident. Um, there has been nothing so far in this area that's been much of a challenge. Um, maybe this is... Maybe they bumped the difficulty of this area up quite a bit. We'll soon find out, I guess. First, I have to collect all the goodies. Hack ahead. Are they demi humans? What are you? We definitely haven't met any of these guys yet. We're gonna get back up. Oh, it just like melted? What is the deal with these guys, man? Get wrecked! Move in like super slow motion. Are they blind? I mean, they seem to be able to see just fine. Covered in mushrooms? No, they just kind of melt. Ugh. Is it? Well, they weren't really that challenging. I think I hear more, but they probably up top there we have all of the duke kissed herba man look at this place dude Yeah, I don't think anything's going to be much of a match for our upgraded greatsword here. This should be quite a cakewalk. Ghost glow wart? We haven't, we haven't found any ghost ashes or anything that's got something to do with the ghosts as of yet. What are you digging for there, bud? What are you digging for on the ground there? Hmm? Oh, a whole bunch of them. 
Okay, no, they're not blind. I don't know what was going on. Like, we killed the one, and then they all walked over to it. Okay, these guys are a little tougher. That's two-handed. Oh, these guys are definitely a little tougher. Oh, God! I think, yeah, we want to put this on. Okay, I spoke a little too soon. These guys are actually quite tough, but they're very slow. Clayman's harpoon, okay, they're made of clay. So, they probably take increased uh, strike damage, or damage, uh, significant damage from strikes, but the hammer would probably be a good weapon. I, I just need to upgrade that hammer, man. Um, it's just, it's like, has absolutely no levels on it. Dodge. Yeah, hitting them seems to knock them quite far back as well. But yeah, you can't do like multiple strikes. Ouch. Secrets? Uh, you always gotta check behind the waterfalls. The weird waterfall effect, man. It's like 2D. We got soap. We got three times soap. Removes filth and accumulations on the body. Plant based soap made from mushroom juice. Craftable item cleans off filth and other accumulations on the body while also slightly reducing poison buildup. Filth covering the exterior eventually seeps inside, soiling one's very spirit. What? Weird, man. I'm not seeing any, like, build-up, any bars or anything every time we get hit, so not sure what that's about. Um, maybe it uh, affects your FP, that's my thinking. Check out this fort here. It looks like it leads off to the next area, so let's double back here and just clear out this fort area here. Uh, not very, uh, not very attentive, these guys. Gross. Like, turn into sludge when you kill them. What is this? Oh, I think it's just the stem of a... yeah. Ouch. That's new. Do they have like glintstone kind of magic? Oh, this thing's just out, oh, so that's annoying. Kind of follows you around. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Rainbow stones. Immunizing cured meat. Yeah, they did like a little jump back. You only hit them once. Oh, you sneaky bugger. Oh, 
Oh, you got me. <laughs> Three for one here, folks. Okay, we're doing 216 for just a normal strike. Let's do a little experiment here. Um, let's put on the brick hammer. If that makes a difference. There's an item. And a herba. Uh, 101, yeah, not worth it. I mean, probably if we upgraded it. What is that? Anemic. Anemic strike. I didn't say the word anemic. Got like clay beards. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a first. That's a gross man. You ever been so dirty you just became clay? I think that's what happened to these guys. Oh, nice. Got a little refill there. Yeah, so these guys are not too difficult. Um, they're just a little bit annoying because they they pull back every time you hit them. So you can't you can't uh, chain a couple of hits together. Is that an item that we missed? Yes, it is. Golden Ruin. This place is so cool, man. Underground River. Um, Lord knows how these trees grow without sunlight. Oh, it's... thought it was a skull. It was a melted mushroom. Got a silver firefly. Those are quite rare, actually. You only seem to find them in uh, caves. I've no idea what they're used for, um, or why we would need them, but... They do seem to be quite a rare resource. Okay, and that is this whole area picked clean. That's a message. So we've been this way. I think there's a scarab this direction. Hear it. Oh, it's up top. Um, okay, so we have to go up top and then drop down to get it. That's presumably back this way. Yeah, not a lot of blood stains around, so I mean a fair amount, but not like a massive amount. So presumably other people didn't find this too challenging either. Oh wait, maybe this is the way. Urban. Very weird being in such an open space. 
that's also underground. I'm having to hold up this torch the entire time just to kind of see. Lighting horn? That's also quite rare. I mean, that's the second one I've seen. We got one from killing a goat, I believe. Okay, so that's just a health scarab. Dead end. Might as well. Oh god. Come on. No. Hit him. That was much more difficult than I thought it would be. It was a tanky scarab. Okay, so... Yeah, dead end. So we have to go up these stairs, presumably. Is this something? The golden centipede. Crafting item. Golden desecrated remains of centipede, material used for crafting items, kept as a fetish by golden order fundamentalists, especially the hunters of those who live in death. As such, they're found near churches and similar. Oh. This feels like it's going to lead us to something secret. So, let's... Oh. Continue. Um, it is leading us somewhere secret. Secret ish. game just tabbed out completely what I was taken to steam a big picture and then when I turned back in I was dead very weird okay well we're gonna have to fight our way back uh, through we can just run past I think Oh, that guy's got a flail. Okay, well, we've got our ruins back. That's the important part. So, hopefully the game doesn't freak out again. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Stop it. I think I see something. Oh, it's just a message. Uh, well, we're going to have to go read it. It's going to have to be done. I think this is how we get the, uh, the scarab. I think there's another gold... Golden centipede down there. How do we get down to that level? This way? Yes. Yes. Bubbles. Okay, so that's uh, the same spell that um, 
these guys have been using it on us this whole time. Um, if you could get in there, you know it'd be full of messages. <laughs> People saying things like house or... Uh, pump sort and that kind of stuff. Um, okay, well, hopefully there wasn't... Oh, uh, there was something else up there. Damn it. Um, well, we're going to have to try it again. Behold, I did it. Silver pickle file for, for definitely worth it. Those things are rare. Rare as hen's teeth, as they say. All right, well, let's press on. Going up. Okay, that was a short trip. Now, how are things growing down here, man? How do you photosynthesize? If only I had a head. <laughs> I'll give you an appraisal. the lift uh, just an empty chamber preserving bolluses ah uh, okay so that's probably for um, scarlet rot I guess alleviate scarlet rot build up yeah so we're gonna need these um, when we back head back to um, Aylid and if we can find we find out how to craft them that would be even better or even just a trader who sells them i think i did see crabs man there's crabs everywhere why are there crabs here um what was that something fell like big Let's find a nice open area here. That's what this will do. Okay, this is a this is a beefier crab. Ouch! And he does some serious damage. Well, we took half his health with like a couple of hits. Oh no! Ah! Do we survive this? Do we survive it? I think so. Oh, only just. Nearly got us. Yeah, this crab is posing some problems here. One more. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah, that crab is... Uh, that crab is serious. I did not treat it with the respect it deserved. He's still there. It's like a broken off stalagmite. Or are these are these petrified trees maybe? I'm killing the little crabs just in the hopes that we get some sacred tears back. Sometimes that happens. Like they, they count as almost like a pack. Pack of enemies. Crab's eggs.
Oh, it's a crab. Hiding. Damn, I feel bad. And I don't feel bad for long now. So. Can we read these? No. A cool, uh, a cool relief on here. So we've got people heading towards the middle. Some kind of ruin symbol. Interesting. We press on. fire definitely not getting a good uh, stash of melted mushrooms don't you dare oh don't you dare despair oh despair I don't know, man. A lot of these messages are so cryptic. Or I just don't have enough info. Oh, this is cool, man. Like a fake, um, a fake night sky. This is so cool, dude. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful, man. Look at this, dude. Holy crap. This is amazing. It's just like this unassuming little structure on the surface and uh, you go down and it's just a sprawling underground ruined city man it's just so cool I want that item I want it there we go heard something off in that direction like a a cry of some sort maybe it's just a deer an underground deer you can't get up there anyway look at this man it's just insane stars oh stars But there are deer. And that one someone like sniping me from oh, it seems to be going in, in like a path. Oh, it's not a grace right here. I think we just rest, might as well. And uh, what spells have we got? Cure Poison, Fireball, Fire Whirl, uh, Grant Me Strength. Yeah, oh, these are good. These are good spells. Yeah, it is Deer that's been making those noises. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got Blue Spirits. Oh, 
Armor is cookbook. Okay, they are not friendly. There's like some Diablo shit here, man. Look at those horns. They go down fairly easily. I don't even know what we picked up there off of this dead body. Um, it all happened so fast. Over. Not a mushroom. Over. Another crab over here. Uh, is this a map? No, uh, it's just another tombstone. Oh no, but I had the torch. Just a little smidgen of uh, FP anyway. Fine. The more blue boys up ahead. Oh, they like. They spawn in only when you get near. So these guys uh, should be susceptible to fur leggings. They should be susceptible to slash damage because they don't have any armor on. Um, they're sort of barbarians. Um, let's see if we can glean any kind of lore about them from those leggings. Um, leggings fashioned from bristly pelts worn by ancestral follower warriors. The ancestral followers keep their distance from the Erd tree, awaiting new buds. They are certain to sprout from the very flesh and indeed their souls. Okay, that was not helpful. They seem to live in harmony with the deer, at least, so, I mean, they can't be all bad. But they are definitely hostile to intruders. They attack on sight. Yeah, I actually need to stop gathering herba. I've got enough. Yeah, he swung first. Fortunate. There's still no match for my great sword, man. Welling arrow. Have we got thin beast bones from these guys? Or did we accidentally kill an animal? I keep getting these melted mushrooms though, man. We don't have a lot of those. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. He's thinking. Whoa! Those are like quick strikes. Is that a helmet that they're wearing? Or is that just part of their head? Got a fur raiment. Everybody loves Raymond. Light flame. Cool. Okay, so presumably there's a bunch of these we have to light all over the place. That will probably open some kind of a door, is my guess. Um, look at this man. Oh, it's like silhouetted against the crag over there. So cool. Look 
Okay, so we have some floating blue orbs. I imagine they're going to attack us. Yep. Whoa, they really are going to attack us. My goodness. But then they disappear. So maybe it's a good idea just to activate them before we fight this crab. Oh, and they electrocute the, the water as well. That's not good. Okay, we've cleared out three of them. I think there's another one slowly making its way around. Oh god, I pressed the buttons but nothing happened. Oh, ho, ho. timed that one. Did not time that one. Okay, we got a heal. That's a weird one, dude. I've never, I've never seen that one before. Oh, ho, ho. just in time. And we got some sacred tears back. Brilliant. Was it guarding something? Um, doesn't look like it. Well, it's gone now. It's, uh, had its it's had its day in the sun well i guess you couldn't quite say that dude this place is massive holy crap there's also a sending gate here in this little island so um I'm not going to take it quite just quite yet um, because it will presumably send us to another spot somewhere in this massive underground area. Jeez, dude, this is like a whole another section of the game that is just completely hidden. Amazing. And it is stunning. Look at this. The underground trees. Um, all the, the wildlife just kind of living down here. It's so cool. Okay, so that's the side of grace we've already activated. Let's check up on the on the uh, on the ridge here. Like even when we first came down to this area, I was like, oh, cool. This is a cool little side area, right? Map of Siofa River. New map has been found. Look at this, dude. This is... This is nuts. What? Okay. This is... This is all above ground. I was like, oh my god, this whole... <laughs> that would have been insane. So, yeah. So, it's just this area. But still, man, that is... Huge. But something important over here. This looks like a bunch of just rock outcroppings. Got some ruins. Um, that's where we came in. And uh, I guess we're headed here next. But first. Oh, look at this man. Insane. Like the biggest cave in history. Um, all right, so we got a whole bunch of horned 
horny fellows. See if we can take take one out. Thin the uh, thin the herd a little bit. My messages never seem to get appraised while I'm in the middle of a battle. These guys are doing it as well. They're, they're not. They didn't quite see me. He's got antler axe. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's covering ground. Yeah, get slapped around. Even these massive guys get slapped around. <laughs> That's quite funny. <laughs> this sword is just so huge. It's huge. Even giant blue spirits with massive horns on top of their heads get slapped around by this thing. Old Fang. We don't have many of those. I think that's like the second one we found. But I saw one more blue spirit in this direction. Inverted Hawk Heater Shield. Now, since we've uh, since we picked up this this great sword, I haven't used shields once. Um, take a look at it anyway. with it it's kind of like the sword that i mean the shield we were using medium-sized metal shield easier to handle than a kite shield the inverted hawk is the emblem of the company of slaves ordered to explore the eternal city is this the eternal city who can tell oh we can use torrent in here that's good This level two ghost globe ward, very cool. What we need is a uh, uh, grave globe wards level two. Hello horn grounds. That looks like a tough enemy. That looks like a tough enemy. All right, let's let's get ourselves uh, prepared here. Let's uh, put on our heal. Oh, I think it's, I think it's just dead. Well, it's still got, it looks like dried up and crusty, but it's definitely, it's got blood in it. <laughs> Is that like a precursor? Do one that's gonna be alive that we're gonna have to fight, probably. This just seemed like a battleground, man. Dude, look at this man. It's insane. Keeps going. It just keeps going. What's that in the distance? Is that like a hanging city? Yeah, it is. Look at that. And uh, it's got different biomes. <laughs> like a pine area. Okay. 
Very cool. Not even an item here, man. A finger butthole? My horse butthole? Yeah. Yeah. Very mature, mate. Very mature. Um. Well, we press on. What's this say? Death ahead. Oh, he's not wrong. Or she. All of the Duke is Turbo. You must have quite a stack by now. I can't help myself, man. Oh god. They're like they're ambush dudes. Well, this one's doing some kind of magic. We got someone sniping at us. Oh, we just ate that hit. This uh, armor set gives us a, a fair amount of poise. So this guy's like a shaman, it seems. Yeah, get smacked around. There you go. This guy's a bowman. Ouch. Okay, he's actually doing some damage. Yeah, we just like... We just soak up the damage. Yeah, we get beast bones from killing these guys. So they are actually... Uh, uh, the horns are actually part of them. It's not like a helmet. Like a... Like a viking helmet. Although, apparently the... The horns on the Viking helmets is like a bit of a myth. They never actually wore horns, they just wore like caps. Seems like it would be some kind of a. It is, look at that. Kind of an item. Man, I really gotta try some, some of this uh, sleep stuff out. Quite funny. Horn bow. Nice. Only I used bows. Is this a secret? It is. Look at that. That's just a golden rune. Um. Yeah. Whoa. We're fine. Okay, guys. Well, I think this is a good a place as any to end the episode. Oh, what's that up there? We have a spirit spring. It's going to take us up to that ruin. Yeah, man, what a find. What a find. This place is breathtaking. Absolutely incredible. Very impressed. Okay, guys, um, as always, thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. You're awesome. Um, I will see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.